Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Joe Wiseman, founder of Cars.com. Porsche has substantially redone its Boxster two-seat convertible, or Roadster. Um, it's basically the first time they've done so in about five years. Now, the car has been a favorite since about 10 years ago when it first came out because it's relatively affordable for a Porsche. It's light, it's great on the track, it handles extremely well, even off the track, and it's very quick. Porsche is not known for making dramatic changes from one model year to another, but for 2009, generally a more aggressive look to the front end. Now, Porsche has changed the suspension for 2009. The character is very similar. The handling is great. You can swing the rear end out pretty easily. Uh, the ride comfort is okay. Now, this is a Boxer S, which is the higher trim level. In the softest setting, which you can adjust by hitting the button here that has the shock absorber icon on it, the softest setting is still not all that comfortable. It's okay, it's livable, but there are definitely roasters out there with softer rides if you want to live with it from day to day. Also for 2009, Porsche redid the engines. Uh, both the 3 liter that comes with the regular Boxster and the 3.4 in the Boxster S. Uh, more powerful and also more efficient. Now you can get a six-speed manual uh, as a standard transmission, which I would probably prefer. This car has the new PDK. Uh, P stands for Porsche, and the DK, as you know, stands for Doppelkupplungsgetriebe. Uh, everyone knows that, right? What it is, is a dual-clutch, seven-speed automated manual. Now, automated manual sounds a lot like automatic, and to the driver it is. But what's happening is you've got two clutches that trade off, so the upshifts are even faster than you could possibly do with a manual transmission. Now, I should add, the quality of these buttons is just not up to snuff. Uh, clearly plastic, trying to look like metal. This is an option that's more than $4,300, the PDK. Uh, and the car itself starts at $57,000. This one, as equipped, is about $79,000. The materials are not good enough by today's standards. Here in the rear, that's a good sized trunk for a small Roadster. And it doesn't get any smaller with the top down. Now, I said trunks because there's two. The engine is in the middle. That gives you a fair amount of space here in front. Uh, look how deep this is. This is a general carry-on bag. You can almost put it in vertically at risk bending the hood, and this isn't my car, so I'm not going to do that. Overall, the changes for 2009 are positive. If you can afford it, why not? For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.